Hey good people, I just want to start this video off by saying thank you to Miss Kimberly from driving over from the East Coast on her side of the state to come spend the weekend with us and uh, hunt with Troy and I here on the West Coast of Florida. Alrighty. Hey good people, it's Rob and Miss Kimberly and we are at an old abandoned uh, baseball field from the 30s or 40s. Uh, this is a location that Dalton and I hunted a year, year and a half ago during the summer and sweated our butts off. But as you can see, Guys, it's not just Florida cold, it's flipping cold, okay? It's still in the 40s today. Yes, Rob is out in Florida in the 40s, and I'm freezing. But it's going to warm up, guys. The sun's coming out. And uh, Dalton and I pulled nine silvers off this place last time. We heard a bunch of Wheaties. He got, uh, we got five silver coins, six silver coins, uh, two sterling rings, and a sterling religious medallion. So hopefully, and we hit less than half of this, so hopefully, guys... Absolutely. See you on that first good Cobra signal, as Clark's Cove would say. Alrighty, gang, my first signal on the Equinox 800 is a 2526, and we get ourselves a 64 Memorial, Copper Memorial. That's a good sign. As we're so fond of saying, if that was a dime, it'd be silver. That's my first signal. Kimberly's digging her second signal right there. Another deep hole, seven inches. I had to take second shovel full out below the pinpointer, wouldn't do it. There's the little back of the coin ball right there. I just dropped the coin. And guys, all the Wheaties and silver came out deep here. And the Wheaties came out looking toasted. And this one's toasted too. But after 45 minutes, guys, our first Wheatie standby. I'll see if I can get you a date. And we are not going to get a date on that, guys. That is just roached. Maybe when we get to the car, maybe. But uh, we'll see. All right. That sound great. All right, guys. Miss Kimberly just got, uh, well, she's had it because we've been, She's been way over there on the other side of the park. She's got this nice locket that had a picture in it one time. That's probably fairly old, but unfortunately it's not uh, precious metal. But guys, we're going we're gonna to hang it up here at this park for today. It has treated Dalton and I well, but we're just getting nothing but deep, dark memorials today. So we're going to move on. All right. All right, you guys. Kimberly and I have changed locations three times. We've now got permission at this little 1923 house. Uh, the house next door is 23 also, but nobody answered. So guys, it's taking us till 3 o'clock to get Wheaties 2 and 3, so stand by. We got mine and hers. We'll get you the dates in a second. All right, guys, Kimberly's is a 56, and mine is a 46. All right. All righty, guys, back-to-back -back Wheaties. I just got me a 1920. Let's see if we can get the sun here. Let's see if we can zoom in. There we go, guys, 1920. All right, we'll get you a still pot, but just now I got a 100-year-old coin. Gang, I got to give props to Miss Kimberly. She used her shovel and got within that lattice work of that 4x4 four four square, guys, and got this beautiful D buckle. Nice, heavy brass or copper buckle. All within there, guys, without disturbing the, the uh, lattice work. Nice job, ma'am. Boom. There you go. All righty, guys, here's Kimberly. We're around a little bit of a side yard before we get to their fence. And, guys, I've got one of them. Reddish chocolate brown Wheaties, which is usually a 50s, uh, but it was deep, folks. Uh, 45, there we go, guys. 1945 for Wheatie number five for the day for us. Guys, I'm right here at the end of the side yard. We didn't ask for permission for the back, and the homeowner's left. And guys, I got a zinc penny signal. I dug it because it said it was only one inch down, but it actually turned out to be two, three inches down, and it is a lot bigger than a zinc penny signal. It is. A token with a dollar sign right there and let's see what is on the back Larry Park Zoo which makes sense because we're in a suburb of Tampa right now there we go Larry Park Zoo. have never had a Larry Park Zoo token before okay all right guys right there where my machine is I already covered my plug up I got a super deep black coin here so let's see is this this should definitely be a weedy as deep as it was okay is that is that nope I see a one cent thought that was the building that says one right there right yeah yep that's a weedster guys we'll see if we can get a date off of Miss Kimberly you want to thumb scratch that baby Uh, looks like a 40s, guys. Maybe a 46. All right. 
weed eat number six nice. for the day. There our permission, that little blue house, there's Kimberly's truck. We got a no on the little white house, so we started doing the curb stripping, guys, right there, where you can see the black dirt. I got a solid 22. Never moved off 22, which is 100% of the time a bottle cap for me. But it said it was only an inch down, so I dug an inch down, and it said it was deeper. So I dug down just to prove it was a bottle cap, and guys, it's actually a weedy. Never hit 23 that the Wheaties do, but it is a 25 or 29, I believe. I'm going to give you close-ups of all these later when I can actually get the phone to focus. All right, guys, there's Kimberly on the other side of the uh, nice Tacoma truck there. We have scored another permission. I believe this is a 34, 32, something like that. And, guys, I just dug a zinc, but I, I have a dark coin in my plug. I have not picked it up yet. It is right there. Let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, it's a memorial. Wow, we've been getting some green and black memorials today. Okay. Well, guys, there's my first complete car of the day. Uh, not quite as old as what we're looking for, but uh, it's a complete car. All right, guys, there it is. Another Florida beautiful sunset. Uh, Kimberly and I are heading home. It's been a tough day, guys. But uh, I bet we've got, what, over 100 pieces of clad between us? Oh, God. Easily. Easily. All right, guys. We'll see you in the wrap up. The next day. All righty, guys. We're here at this 1940s permission in St. Pete. Mr. Dirt Troll and Troy has got us that permission. We just got here. Troy's around the back and he is calling silver, which is already better than the entire day that Kimberly and I had yesterday. Oh. There it is. All right, go ahead, take her out. Let's see what that is. Go ahead, grab it, Kimberly. I don't have any water on me. I do. It is a the proverbial 44. All right. Take Ooh, that's a nice shape too, Troy. Pretty one, huh? It is a pretty one. There you go. You guys are good luck. I've been in the there. yard for about 30 minutes. First silver I got. There you go. That's right, us. Sweet. Thank you. Congrats, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Already, already, gang, before I show you my find, here's Miss Kimberly's find. I thought it was a token, but guys, it's a real, actually old Chinese coin. Oop. So, Charlie, 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 this is a real one, Charlie. This is what a real one looks like, Charlie. <laughs> Yeah, Come on down and hunt with me, Charlie. I'll there put you on one. Yeah. <laughs> and then, guys, there's my find. He rang up a 1314. I was hoping it was a, uh, I was hoping it was real gold, but it looks like it's plated, guys. But it's got a cute little stone on it with a heart on it. And uh, so there's ring number two of the year, Team Lynch. Ring number two. Got number one two days, three days, two days ago, Kimberly. So two rings in three days. Boom. Well, guys, we've cleaned the ring up a little bit of saliva on my toothbrush. And uh, it's actually looking pretty good. And guys, inside the bottom there, you can see writing. We don't know what it says because the loop is in the truck. But yeah, we'll get you a still shot of that, guys. It might be gold-plated. It might be silver. There we go, guys. Ring number two with writing. And it was a 1314 right there. I don't normally dig 14s, guys. But after Jeremy found that 10K class ring on a 1719, I'm, I'm digging some signals I don't normally do. Plus, it's a quiet yard. So I dug it. As you can see that that says 14k ge which means gold electroplated probably over copper and it's starting to wear off all righty he's on fire with his sixth six over the year yeah six over the year you can see the s on that silver war nickel we're going to zoom that in zoom, do zoom um you can see the oh that's a nice focus shot there we go flip that baby over it's yeah it's pretty yeah. it's toasty there guys but it is a 40 Looks like a 43. We'll get a close-up of that later. All right. Number six for the year, Troy, two on this property. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Kimberly gets the first Wheatster of the day. Yep. We probably both swung over there. Go ahead, pick her up. I can see it from here. Absolutely. And, oh, yeah, that baby's clean. These aren't coming out like yesterday. These are oh, nice. 40-something? I think it says 49, I think. Makes sense. Age of the house. 49, ma'am. Congratulations. Boom. about time somebody got a Wheatster. <laughs> <laughs> Troy is way in the backyard here, up where that starts getting to be un, uh, unmanageable. And guys, look at that lead figurine he gets. There is a doctor in the house. There is a headless doctor. <laughs> He'd go good in the haunted mansion. Yep. Oh man, he's heavy too, Troy. Bring up a solid 18. 
Oh yeah, that's nice. He's got his little doctor bag with his coat over his shoulder. Nice find, Mr. Troy. Boom. Happy, brother. You're just on fire today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, gang, there's Mr. Troy yeah, looking for the head of his doctor toy. And guys, I got a uh, bouncy 1314 here too. Decided to dig it since that's what my ring was on in the front yard. And guys, look at that beautiful silver plated spoon or utensil handle. Uh, that is just gorgeous. Got a little teeny bit of fancy right there, but I'll never see if it says plated because that's usually on the bottom of the near the spoon bowl. So guys, I haven't had a silver plated spoon piece in a long time. Boom, guys. We're getting some great finds back here in this corner where Troy's staying. All right. Junk. So we have moved location. And Miss Kimberly out of the small front yard. It's a small front yard, but guys, look at that. It's two lots. It's a 1930s house. Um, Kimberly calls a weedy. This is her third one. She got one on the other property in the backyard. I wasn't around there. So this is her third weedy of the day. And it is a... Oh, a nice year we don't get too often, a 37. Nice. 37 Wheatster for Kimberly's third one of the day. Hey guys, Rob got a nice, deep, quiet 24 signal. I mean, you can see it's six inches down there. And finally, we are on the board with our first Wheatster, 1947 after some, some thumb scratching. Had a nice black coin ball on it. Oh, yeah, we're liking that. Five minutes after that Weedy. We get ourselves a small spoon. Now, I told Troy it's probably not silver plated. No, this is copper. But, you got a brush? I don't know how old it is, guys, but we got ourselves a little spoon. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. Does it say stainless steel, china? No. Okay, well, that's good. Well, it's got a little fancy on it. Absolutely. All right. You read it? You put that saliva on it, girl. Sometimes you got to. Got to do what you got to do. All right, we'll cover this up while you're... It says something Stratford silver plated. Yep. We'll take it, guys. We like it. We'll get a focus shot on that later, guys. But, yeah, it does say, I think, Stratford, and I see the word silver. Now, I know that's not real silver, but you can see some of the, some of the plating coming off there. All right. Boom. Old spoon. Well, hey, at least it came off. Miss Kimberly gets herself an old lipstick tube top is starting to rot away a little bit oh yeah you can see that's that's uh, brass all day long any, any writing on the bottom i broke the lid getting it off it's going to have writing on oh, one yeah, side that does, that's, that's the writing right there kiss them up number five sweet it's definitely they're definitely lipstick definitely lipstick post probably world war ii because they make it look like shells back then oh nice mr troy was just digging a nickel signal and he gets himself oh his spoon's bigger than mine his is a his is a full size this is an adult spoon I'm glad you said that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, mine's just bigger than mine. You're a funny guy. Mine's bigger than that. I beg your pardon? Oh, my cucumber. It's bigger. Yeah, we'll have to see if we can get writing off of it. Yeah, that's been down there a while. Yeah, as the grown well, boys sir. used to say, we got us an episode. <laughs> Two spoons. <laughs> Guys, Troy's doing this common area. Uh, there's our trucks. We just left that last property. Troy hasn't had a weedy all day. Of course, he's got two silvers, but he's been wanting a weedy. 56, I just made it. I'll take it. <laughs> Good man. Oh, there we go. All righty.